Hey folks, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so tonight is a possibility for me to do some testing with the Star Arizona Apex EDL uh, reducer flattener that I have uh, received from Star Arizona. And uh, it's installed on the telescope and uh, ready to go. I'm hoping that the spacing I got is correct and uh, we'll see that's the whole idea behind doing some test images uh, what i want to see is pinpoint stars across the field of view especially in the corners the corner stars being pinpoint around are very critical so that's dependent on the spacing um, i have the spacing set to what i believe is the correct amount but we never know exactly uh, tolerances can shift one way or the other and with with specifications from the manufacturers so i might have to do some adjustments but um, that's the idea for tonight is to give this a try. Now, for those of you who haven't watched the previous video on the Apex EDL uh, reducer flattener from Star Arizona, uh, I have received one from them at no charge, full disclosure, and uh, I'm going to be testing it and reviewing it, um, and I'm hoping for some excellent results. Uh, what, is, what it's gonna do is turn my refractor, I have a uh, Skywatcher Esprit 100 triplet refractor that I use, and it operates at a focal ratio of f5.5 so what's gonna what the reducer flattener is going to do is it's going to turn the telescope into um, kind of a new telescope in a way it's not a new telescope but it is in a way it's going to turn it into a fast astrograph it's going to reduce that focal ratio down to f3.6 which is going to make the light gathering capability a lot faster and i'll get a wider field of view so that's the idea behind the uh, star zona apex edl reducer flattener. Now, tonight, um, right now, the sky is partly cloudy. Um, I, I see blue sky, which is great because we haven't had a lot of blue sky. Uh, it's been a lot of rain and clouds the last three weeks, and it's not looking that great for this coming week, but tonight is a possibility. They're only calling for partly cloudy overnight, so I'm hoping there's clear breaks that I can make use of to take some test images, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to get things fired up, we're going to get Nina going, and we're going to take some test images and see what things look like. Now, I've read some of the previous comments in the other video that I did on the Apex. Uh, some people had great experience with it. Some people didn't have a good experience with it. I don't know what my experience is going to be. That's the whole idea behind this is giving it a try and, and seeing what kind of results I get. I'm hoping that I get some really good results. I'm excited about it. So um, let's wait for dark and then we'll head over to the computer and we'll get things going. Okay, so uh, we are in Nina, and I've got things set up. Uh, the telescope is working. I have done the focusing uh, for the various filters because I had to adjust the filters, uh, the, the focus for the filters um, because of the new F ratio. So I went through each filter and did the autofocus routine for that so that everything's looking good. This is a 15 second image taken with the luminance filter. So we do have some vin vignetting uh, happening uh, in the corners. Um, it's not terrible. Um, I have seen worse than this, but um, this is actually, uh, this is manageable, I think, if uh, you're using flats. So uh, let's have a look. Let's zoom in and see what the uh, the stars look like. Um, so in the center, uh, we've got, you know, nice round stars. That's great. If we uh, take a look at the, uh, the bottom of the screen, we've got a slight elongation occurring there. Let's have a look at the top. Uh, the top, we've got a little bit happening. It's not it's not terrible, but it, it is there nonetheless. Let's take a look at the corners. We'll go to the uh, top left corner. So we definitely have some uh, elongation of the stars there. It Again, it's not terrible. We're talking a very small change that be, would be required uh, in the spacing to get these a little uh, more round and pinpoint. Um, let's just have a look at the top right corner and see how that's looking. Um, so again, not perfect. Uh, the spacing needs to be adjusted slightly, but it's not terrible. It's, it's, it's manageable. Uh, let's have a look at the bottom here. Okay, so the, the bottom... Uh, right corner looks a little more we got a little bit of uh, comet looking uh, stars occurring here 
let's have a look at the bottom left corner. So the bottom left corner actually looks not too bad. Uh, it um, probably the best corner of them all. So so I could be dealing with a little bit of sensor tilt as well, which um, is going to cause me some problems as well. But I'm zoomed in at 185 percent, so that's quite uh, that's quite significant in order to uh, reveal these uh, uh, issues with the stars. Um, I'm not actually. Um, too disappointed at all this is actually pretty good for a first try so far it actually is uh it's it's looking good uh overall um i think what i'm going to do is uh swing over to the um either the elephant trunk nebula or the north american nebula. probably the elephant trunk nebula would be a good thing to uh, do a little test on do some h alpha and uh, take a, a long exposure with it so um let me just uh, call up IC1396. There it is there. We'll load the image. And we'll just zoom out a bit here. There it is there. So we're getting a, a nice field of view. Um, let's uh, slew and center on IC1396. And the telescope is currently slewing. Plate solving window is opened. We can see down here that uh, the telescope is slewed and it's settling now. It's taking its uh, first exposure to see where it's pointed. And the plate solve is analyzing and it's determined that the telescope is not inside tolerance so it's re-slewing to the target and it's taking another exposure right now it's analyzing and it's doing a plate solve and it still needs to make an adjustment it says it's not inside tolerance yet so it's re-slewing and it's taking another exposure for the plate solve to analyze and there we go so now it's centered on IC 1396 and we can go back we can close this window here uh, let's switch our filters to the H alpha filter okay so the active filter is the H alpha filter um, I'm just going to start the guiding here so we can do a, a long exposure. And we'll start that guiding there. I'm just going to do a uh, two minute exposure just to see how things look. Uh, the guiding. is functioning and I think that if I'm not mistaken I think I took the guider offline here we'll just reconnect the guider there we go now we can see the uh, the guiding in Nina as well okay so let's uh, start this two minute exposure and when it's done we'll come back Okay, so we're back and we have the uh, completed two minute image, H alpha image of IC1396. And we can see that the field of view is uh, quite nice. Um, I wasn't getting uh, the entire IC1396 uh, region uh, in the field of view all at once uh, when I was at the native focal length of 550 millimeters. But uh, now that I'm using the Apex EDL uh, reducer flattener, uh, I'm getting um, the entire nebula uh, in the field of view. Um, the uh, wider field of view is certainly uh, evident, and um, I'm getting a, a very good signal too uh, as well with the uh, reducer. So I swung over to NGC 7000, uh, took a five-minute exposure. So this is a five-minute exposure. 
through the Esprit 100 triplet using the uh, Starzona Apex EDL reducer flattener. And it's a fabulous result. Uh, we're getting some really good uh, good data with this, and uh, it's looking not too bad at all, actually. This is pretty good. This is actually really fabulous. I'm really happy with it. Um, something that is definitely going to uh, be quite exciting to uh, revisit some targets and uh, collect more data with. Okay, thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel grow. Hit the bell notification so you're notified of new videos as I release them. Don't forget to like and comment, and we'll see you again in another video. For now, take care and clear skies.